Critical testimony today in the death penalty trial for the MSD killer. We saw the murder weapon in court as we heard from the Uber driver who took the shooter to school on that fateful day. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live at the courthouse with more on today's testimony. Christina. It was certainly a lot for these jurors to take, take in because they saw the rifle, yes, but then in the afternoon they also saw the grisly impact from the high velocity bullets that rifle fires. In fact, some of the family members of the murdered, as the doctors began to explain how their loved ones died to these jurors walking through some graphic autopsy reports, they came together. You'll see some holding hands. In lead prosecutor Michael Satt's hand, the murder weapon. Smith and Wesson M10, MP15 rifle. BSO Sergeant Gloria Crespel told jurors when she found the AR-15 style rifle on the third floor stairwell of Marjorie Stoneham Douglas, it was loaded. And ready to be fired. Family members of the murdered holding hands in court during difficult testimony detailing fatal wounds. It proceeded to pass through the upper part of the right lung. When Broward's deputy chief medical examiner starts reviewing the autopsy findings for Nicholas Dorette, his mom begins tearing up during the testimony. The physical evidence in this case. Spent shell casings. Collected from the hallways and classrooms where 17 MSD students and staff were shot and killed. Another 17 hurt to include Justin Colton. I have a couple fragments still in my lower back. With his testimony this morning, jurors have now heard from all 17 staff and students who were shot and survived. Um, I can't do some motions like with my like motions like working out. If you were going to go straight, he told you to turn left. Yes. And jurors met Laura Zucchini. He was on, on, the, on the phone. The Uber driver who took the shooter to the school that day, she thought he maybe had a guitar case. He told me he was going to his music class. On cross, assistant public defender Tamara Curtis asking her a question related to his possible state of mind. And do you remember Mr. Cruz being anxious and nervous when you dropped him off? Yes. And jurors also got to see some grisly crime scene photos. We'll have more on that coming up at Local 10 News at 6. For now, reporting live for you in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Okay, the start of the second week. Thanks a lot, Christina. You can watch live coverage of the Cruz penalty trial every day on Local10.com, our social media pages, and the Local 10 Plus app on your smart TV. And we have an in-depth section right now up on local10.com. Scan this QR code to find a timeline of events, profiles of each of the 17 victims, and hear the testimony from the wounded, plus what we know about each of the jurors who will decide Cruz's fate.